in tributes. There has been a slight rule change. Sometimes, simply watching the action just isn't enough. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that would make great video games. Okay, kids, now, I know bad things do happen tonight, but we can afford protection, so we'll be fine just like always, no worries, okay? For this list, we're taking a look at some of cinema's most epic silver screen releases that seriously need to have video game adaptations. What the hell's going on? In order to qualify, a title must not already have a video game tie-in or spin-off of any sort, no matter what the generation. Keep your nose up, Joseph. You always were bad at the short takeoff. Keep up, Frankie. I don't want to have to come back for you. Number 10, The Purge franchise. Look at what you're doing. Nothing is ever going to be okay again. The premise behind these films, silly as it sounds, is pretty straightforward. All crime, including murder, is legal for one night in the United States. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. With hardcore gamers having a broad diversity of tastes, the possibilities for a plot like this are nearly endless. You just gave our son a gun. You want to tell me what the hell we're doing? We're gonna fight. One hypothetical the developers can approach is a survival horror feel. Think the first Resident Evil, but instead of zombies, there are crazed citizens armed to the teeth. So I bid thee farewell, sweet Sandy. Release the beast, boys! Let the killing commence! Not action-packed enough? Well, how does taking it to the streets with a sandbox game in the vein of GTA sound? Regardless of the angle, a game adaptation is sure to attract inner purgers from all over. Get ready to bleed, rich bitches! This is our time now! Number 9. Escape from New York You gonna kill me now, Snake? I'm too tired. Maybe later. Who doesn't want to be a badass, especially if it's a badass like Snake Plissken? We'd make one hell of a team, Snake. The name's Plissken. Brought to us by the legendary filmmaker John Carpenter, this film contained a heart-racing story featuring inmates of a prison-converted Manhattan Island abducting the president. About an hour ago, a small jet went down inside New York City. The president was on board. President of what? That's not funny, Pliskin. Following the film's <clears throat> well-designed plot, a game adaptation would have players controlling Snake in a similar forced mission to rescue POTUS within 24 hours. Pliskin? Pliskin, what are you doing? Playing with myself. I'm going in. With guns ablazing and stealth elements easily foreseeable for a story like this, Pliskin has the potential to be a contender with genre veterans like Sam Fisher and another Snake in particular. There's even room for a series here, taking Snake to LA in the sequel. You better hope I don't make it back. Number 8. Pan's Labyrinth Habréis de pasar tres pruebas antes de la luna llena. Set up with a simple structure that had the story's protagonist completing a series of dangerous and daring tasks, we wouldn't be surprised if Guillermo del Toro actually did visualize this narrative as a video game first. Decidle a que ahora murió su padre. Decidle que yo. Ni siquiera sabrá tu nombre. With six Oscar nominations under its belt, as well as three wins, Pan's Labyrinth proved to be majestic in both spectacle and story. Una vez abierta la puerta, iniciad el reloj de arena. Dejaos guiar por las hadas. Filled with dark visuals and an equally grim plot, this tale of a young girl's escape into a fantastical realm is vividly reminiscent of American McGee's Alice, a perfect point of reference for a video game adaptation. <laughs> Number 7. Cube Franchise It's your gift. It's not a gift. It's just a prank. Fear, paranoia, suspicion, and desperation. A fitting tagline to describe this twisted trilogy of tension-inducing thrillers. No more talking. No more guessing. Don't even think about nothing that's not right in front of you. That's the real challenge. You gotta save yourselves from yourselves. As if the idea of being taken and held against your will isn't frightening enough, imagine having to navigate a course of cubic rooms filled with deadly booby traps as your only means of escape. There's traps. What do you mean traps? Booby traps. I looked in the room down there and something almost cut my head off. <gasps> Following the gory and psychologically challenging tone of the films, a video game version of Cube would task players with the straightforward mission of surviving through trial and error style gameplay. What are you doing? You're not allowed in there. That's 
through pushing buttons. This means hours of disturbing deaths and likely an M rating, as we'll see with most of the titles on this list. This guy sure moves quickly. He's just gone. Yeah, well, maybe something made him gone. Maybe he should come back. Number six, Crank. Jesus. Nothing's easy. Visualize this. The setting, Los Angeles. Our character, British and witty. The mission, hunt down a gang that betrayed you. What is it you gotta do? You gotta kick some black ass. What? Sounds kind of vanilla, huh? Well, how about we add a constant sense of desperation by ways of a poison that forces you to keep your character's adrenaline pumping, or else he dies. I'm dying. I've been poisoned with some kind of Chinese synthetic shit. That's right. Now explosive and bullet riddling action is no longer optional, it's downright mandatory. Think of this as Grand Theft Auto meets Battlefield's adrenaline injection mechanic. It's sure to keep your heart rate high. Did you like that one, tough guy? How freaking awesome was that, huh? Number five, Interstellar. Mankind was born on Earth, it was never meant to die here. If there is one contemporary filmmaker who knows how to balance style and substance right, it's Christopher Nolan. Hey, trick to this, Doyle? No one knows. In Interstellar, we follow a group of scientists who are given access to a new galaxy via wormhole at a time when humanity is in need of a new habitable planet. The problem is gravity. How to get a viable amount of human life off the planet. This is one way. Plan B, population bomb. As a roguelike and space simulator experience, a game adaptation would probably look and feel like Subset Games' FTL Faster Than Light. However, developers can heighten the stakes with time is of the essence subplots, forcing players to complete their exploration in a hurry, which could give leeway for multiple game endings. A civilization that's evolved past the four dimensions we know. Number four, Edge of Tomorrow. What are you doing? Find me when you wake up. Featuring a plot gimmick with video games written all over it, Edge of Tomorrow follows a demoted military officer who continually wakes up the day before his many different deaths in an extraterrestrial war. I mean, that's great. There's a cure. How do I get rid of this? First, I need your help. Help with what exactly? Winning the war. Reminiscent of the time loop found in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, or your standard quick save feature in most games, this thrill ride of a movie is a perfect fit for a video game adaptation. What day is it? For you? Judgment day. Sure, gamers are being pushed to the edge with shooters thanks to a particular annualized franchise, but for those who've seen Edge of Tomorrow, they'd probably give its game adaptation a run. Or a few hundred. Why does it matter what happens to me? I wish I didn't know you. But I don't. Number three, Inception. Why is it so important to dream? My dreams were still together. On the off chance that you haven't experienced Inception yet, the film takes you to a world where corporate espionage means directly infiltrating and navigating someone's mind using pre-constructed dream spaces. By taking over the creating part, now this is where I need you. You create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their subconscious. Creating an all-encompassing narrative, the setup established by writer-director Christopher Nolan has practically written its own video game companion already. Maybe with a plot featuring idea extraction jobs that lead up to the film's events? It's called extraction. So Saito, we can train your subconscious to defend itself from even the most skilled extractor. With Warner Brothers' major success on other game-licensed IPs, especially the Batman Arkham series, there's no reason to not explore the endless dream worlds. You're not real. I'm a projection of your subconscious. Number two, Kill Bill. And when I arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Bill. Revenge is a dish best served cold. A statement beautifully illustrated in the masterful two-parter from skilled storyteller Quentin Tarantino. This is what you get for f***ing well, Yakuza's! Go home to your mother! Featuring a cast of colorful characters, Gil Bill follows the gory journey of an ex-assassin seeking revenge against her former colleagues and employer after they massacred her loved ones at her wedding rehearsal. Bill, it's your baby. Taking center stage is a blonde beauty identified as the bride, aka the deadliest woman in the world, with a badass sword. For a game adaptation, the obvious route would be a hack and slash title in the vein of Devil May Cry or No More Heroes. There would be a ton of melee combat and a ton more blood. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? You know, for a second there? Yeah, I kind of did. 
before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You either give me what I need or this switch will stay on until they turn the power off for lack of payment on the bill. Where is my daughter? Kill him. Number one, Battle Royale. Okay, we're not calling Suzanne Collins a plagiarist. We're just saying that this movie and its 1999 novel seem to have a few parallels with the Hunger Games. Happy Hunger Games! And may the odds be ever in your favor. Set in a dystopian society, Battle Royale follows a group of students sent to an isolated island and forced to participate in a last man or last woman standing skirmish. <laughs> Were this tale of teens wasting teens made into a video game, it wouldn't be the biggest shocker to see it cause as much controversy as the Japanese action thriller did upon its release. But still, what a glorious game it would be. We could have a battle royale. Wow. Do you agree with our list? Which movie do you feel needs to become a gameplay experience? Is that an order from the president? Absolutely. Or let's just say it's what's best for the country. For more exciting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. If whatever the f it was in there that killed the guy killed me, what happens if that f thing gets in here?